what is going on y'all we're going to be doing another player era set um this time it's going to be nfl hall of famer roger worley um before i get into that i figured out how to fix my case that i've been sending all these cards in um, and it's just as simple as putting a rubber band around it um super easy if you remember before, I don't remember if it was my first or second um, player era project video, um, I was able to just pick up these cases on the sides and the bottom would fall out. Um, so since I figured out this um, beautiful piece of engineering with this rubber band, <laughs> um, I've had zero problems with these cards coming back damaged or anything like that. Um, so Roger Worley, 1969 first round pick to the St. Louis Cardinals. We're talking about the football team, not the baseball team. Um, defensive back, seven-time Pro Bowl, three-time All-Pro, um, 40 career interceptions. So, I mean, that's pretty damn good in an era where they just didn't throw the ball like they do in today's game. Um, it's pretty awesome. And then he was elected to the Hall of Fame um, in 2007. So that is that. Um, let's flip this thing around and show off some cards. Here we go. This is his 1971 Tops rookie card. Yes, I'm sending two. Um, the donation that I'll be showing at the end, I need to double it. I just don't have the cash on hand here at the house. So um, we'll get to that. And it'll be definitely well worth Mr. Worley's time and his generosity to sign all these cards for me. I just love um, this particular design, the little mascot down on the bottom left, I think is so damn funny on these cards. I've got to tell you, if you have um, are considering doing one of these player era projects just try it um, one time you know it is an absolute blast um, everything from buying the cards trying to figure out what player you want to do next so on and so forth um, it has really changed how I want to do TTMing as far as just doing the one envelope here and there although it's still extremely fun um, it just doesn't compare to this it's almost like going to your local card show versus going to the national um, both are really fun but it's really not a comparison and yes this is obviously way more expensive than just sending off a single TTM return so this is his last player era card, um, but I wanted to add this one, which y'all know I don't do very often add non-player era cards, um, but I think this card is extremely cool. So that's the cards. It should be 14 cards, I believe. I only have $80 on hand right now. I need to send at least um, 140 so um, That's exactly the amount that we'll be doing. It'll be $10 a card um, Which is pretty good for a dude that signs um, for free more times than not so There we go. Let's see what happens y'all wish me luck. Roger, it just might have been the best draft choice in the football Cardinals' 27 years in St. Louis. Roger Worley was taken in the first round in 1969 after a brilliant career at the University of Missouri. He was a fast, hard-hitting defender for the Tigers, two-time All-Big A player, the Big A Defender of the Year, and a unanimous All-American selection as a senior. With the Big Red, Worley had 40 career interceptions and recovered 19 fumbles. His interception total was hurt by the fact that Roger was so good, opposing quarterbacks tried to avoid his side of the field. Hall of Fame quarterback Roger Staubach said that Worley was the best cornerback 
he ever played against. He intercepted three of Staubach's passes in a 1975 game. A member of the NFL's all-decade team in the 70s, he's a member of the College Football Hall of Fame, the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame, the Pro Football Hall of Fame. So if you're seeing this portion of the video, you know it came back. Actually, if you're seeing any of this video, you know it came back. So, here we go. Bam. Uncanceled stamps. We've already talked about that federal offense in the past. <laughs> uh, from Sun City, West Arizona. Um, so there's a little hint on the address. I'll try to remember to put the address down below um, for Roger Worley, but my memory's really, really bad. But I'll try to remember. Um, so let's get into it. Oh, man. I just never am not excited about this, man. So let's turn this freaking camera around and get popping, man. Let's see what's in here. Well, that's what we get. Um, I had someone ring the doorbell, so I had to stop it in the little, middle of the last video. Um, here's we go. Um, so I'll get back into the story I was telling. Um, I think it's funny. Not that I'm definitely not expecting it, but I've sent off probably tens of thousands of TTMs through the years. And I would say I've probably gotten back my donation probably 20% of the time, believe it or not. About one out of five. Um, and now I think this is number seven, maybe? Um, player error request that came back, and not one time as the donation came back. And I think I know why. I think it's because it's a larger donation. It's real easy to turn away five dollars, ten dollars, maybe even twenty bucks. Um, but you start getting to like a hundred bucks, one hundred and fifty, two hundred bucks, like I've been sending to these guys. I don't think I could turn that down if I had money or not. I mean, even if you had money, that's a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars cash money in your in your wallet. So um, I'll be interested to see in the future if any of those donations come back because I definitely would not expect it. Um, so here is what we got. Um, that's actually really, really nice. I've seen this card. I've gotten Mr. Worley quite a bit in the past. Um, and I've gotten this card from him a couple times. I didn't send this card. This is his card he sends out from time to time. Um, and he normally has never personalized it, but considering the, uh, circumstance this time, I'm actually really happy he cir- uh, yeah, I almost said circumcised for some reason. <laughs> I'm really happy he personalized this. I just hope like hell that the rest of these cards are not personalized because that, for me personally, would be an epic fail. Um, let's just jump back to the back to see if they're all signed. Please don't be personalized. <laughs> Please don't be personalized. Okie dokie. So there's the back. So there's hope, y'all. There's a small bit of hope that all of these are not personalized. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So it's looking like just the first one um, that he included. So that is cool. This is his rookie card. Uh, and that looks really, really nice. Really sharp. Awesome, man. He did a freaking beautiful job signing these cards. A little signature loss there on the far left. Really awesome looking card. And that little video I showed earlier in this video of him, um, just people didn't realize just how, I mean, frankly, badass this dude was as a cornerback, man. Um, I think he might have been like Revis Island before Revis even was around. There's so many good shutdown corners um, in the 60s and 70s and, and into the 80s. That people just don't know. I think a lot of people know the guys these days because, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing or a good thing, but they're just just so damn loud. And it's almost like they let their mouths do more of the talking and playing than their actual game. And these guys back, man, this card is really nice. Um, like really, really nice. I really like that. Um, these guys just didn't do that back then, man. They just put their head down and bust their ass. And I think, um, me personally, just my opinion, I think we need a little bit more of that in the world. Man. God, dog. 
God, these things are so sharp. Look at the size of that freaking helmet. I don't know if he's playing football or going into outer space. <laughs> Beautiful signatures on these cards. We're just about done. So the Roger Worley Player Era TTM Project was a 100% success. Freaking awesome. Kept all of... Kept the donation, which is awesome. And that is definitely should be expected and signed all of these cards just perfectly, man. So, I hope you all enjoyed it. I absolutely love doing these. Um, here lately over the past seven, eight months, these videos, these player error projects have most, I mean, they just have been my favorite. Not even close. I've really started enjoying doing the TTM address videos, which I wasn't a huge fan of doing at first. Um, but between these player error projects and the TTM free address videos, I've really been enjoying making videos lately. So, till next time, adios, be safe. I hope y'all enjoyed. Toodles.